What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps, caps, Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Well, I guess I can leave it like that. It was just so bright. I appreciate all the love and support. I do, I do, I do. Who? I do. We're almost like 14,100 subscribers, so I appreciate it. I do. Um, this is for the sign of Aquarius for September of 2022. This will resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Read your own collective reading. I did receive two channel messages in as I was meditating on your energy, Aquarius, <clears throat> for September 2022. I heard, um, the first one I heard, the honey pot is lost. And the second one I heard, um, what was the second one? Oh, new beginnings, new beginnings. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Now, energies can be reversed. So the first message, first channel message, the honey pot is lost. That could be somebody losing you if you're the honeypot for them or was the honeypot for them. Or maybe one of you guys lost a honeypot that was in your life. Because energies can be reversed. So only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But somehow a honeypot was lost. And I do feel this is a person in this aspect. Most certainly a person. Most certainly a person is what I just heard. So it most certainly was a person. Whether you are, were the honeypot for person, people, place, or situation. Or somebody else was a honeypot for you. And the second one, I heard new beginnings. So uh, new beginnings coming either for you or for a, another person or people. How that resonates and applies Aquarius. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life situation, how they resonate. Um, just saying the same. All right, you guys. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aquarius. If you like the book of personal reading, I put the personal information, um, the per not the personal information, the personal reading information in the description box below. It's by text only, and you only pay before the appointment time, not any time before, okay? And we have to agree upon the appointment time first. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aquarius. An, Aquari an Aquarius's family member is about to lose their job soon. For one, it's an Aries. For one, it's a Pisces. It's about to shock the hell out of you. But shocking series of chain events are about to occur in their workplace soon, which is about to force this. For one, it's a death. A terrible death. Oh, my God. You plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. So, it's not you. It's family members of your of you that this resonates for you for one it's an aries family member for one it is a uh, pisces family member how that resonates and applies but it sounds like upcoming soon it hasn't happened yet <clears throat> um <clears throat> there's about to be some kind of shocking horrible death in a workplace situation that's going to be surrounding this family member um or members, uh, for some it could be one family member that this happens to for you, for some it could be two or two plus, we have Aries and Pisces energy family members in here, so they could have Aries or Pisces and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Thumb, Name, or Jupiter charts, and it could be a masculine or Femme, Aries or Pisces I'm feeling, um, but however that resonates, there's about to be some kind of horrible, horrendous death, uh, connecting your family member or family members to this horrendous death, which is going to um, facilitate termination. Um, 
Oh, my Lord. There will be a lawsuit from one of these. Know this. There will be a lawsuit from one of these. Know this. Oh, my God. So, there's going to be a lawsuit for one of them. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, um, Aquarius. It's a, one of your family members, a Pisces or a... Um, or a Aries family member, and somehow there's going to be a horrific death in their workplace or workplaces, and um, somehow they're going to be connected to this horrific death or deaths, and for one of those situations, I heard a lawsuit will come out of it. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Dear Lord, that could be the disappointment in a friend or lover, possibly. Um, yikes, we have frog and peacock energy. For some, you could be dealing with a water sign or another air sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. If you are, we have flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Tent, temporary situation. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. I heard a honeypot was lost, so that could be you, honeypot that was lost, or somebody else as a honeypot that was lost. Um. You plug it in, how it resonates. And then you have Aries and Pisces family member energy. I think they're going to come to you for help, possibly, uh, after they get terminated. And I don't feel this is a not wrongful termination. I feel this is a wrongful, I don't feel this is a wrongful termination. I feel this is a rightful termination. If there is a horrendous death they are connected to in a workplace situation, I mean, I mean, that's common logic and common sense. And I'm just being serious. An Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. An Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, hell, I would be too, but this hasn't happened yet. I mean, Lord, this is, that's serious yet. That, that's serious. One, they work in a nursing home. One, they work at a hospital. One, they work in construction. One, they work at a nursing home, one, they work at a hospital, and one, they work in construction. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So these these Aries and Pisces family members are coming in very strong, Aquarius, for you, if this resonates for you. For one, the Aries or Pisces works in a nursing home, so skilled nursing facility. One, they work at a hospital, so a hospital, and they can be any occupation. I didn't hear what occupations they are. They can be any occupation. Any, from uh, from a uh, a housekeeper to a uh, administrative staff. I mean, any occupation. Uh, but somehow, a horrendous death that's going to be connected to them. Whatever occupation they work in, in either this skilled nursing facility, um, this hospital, or this construction site. You plug it in, how it resonates. Dear God, this is yikes. But there's a reason they're coming in your reading. Spirit messages you have for like this. First time of Aquarius. An Aquarius was not going to place a lawsuit on a Libra, but through many series of chain events, they're about to. Oh my God. Whoa. False contract false contract. Okay, I heard an Aquarius was not going to place, um, for one, this person is a member of your family, for one, they are not. Okay, so for one of you guys, you was not going to place a lawsuit on a Libra. I heard you were not going to, but I heard through many series of chain events, it sounds like you're about to change your mind, and you're about to. Um, it can be masculine or female Libra. They can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, and energy for charts. I heard false contracts. So it's involving some kind of false contract energy. Um, it sounds like that you might have made with this Libra or somebody else might have made with this Libra. But somehow it's that you had considered, it sounds like in the past, um, possibly placing a lawsuit on this Libra. But it sounds like you wasn't going to. But it sounds like you're about to change your mind again and you're about to do it. Definitely about to do it soon. Definitely about to do it soon is what I just heard. You're definitely about to do it soon. For one, it is a, a family member of yours. For one, it is not. So you have to plug this leaper in, how they resonate in your own life. Aquarius, this is yikes. Spirit messages you, okay. But it's something to do with some kind of false contract energy. 
knowledge. Number one can be very significant number of one's life. Number one, it could be a possible age of you or somebody, you're, well, a possible age of a child or uh, an age of um, somebody else's child or any other significant number of one's life. Number one. 11 11. 11 11. Okay. So 11 11 uh, is, um, is so that's change in there. That's also new beginnings, but I'm going to Google uh, angel number 11 11 and we can read it all together. Um, my kitty cat is so crazy. But I heard um, 11 11, so angel number 11 11. One Aquarius does not believe in God, but through many series of chain of events, they're about to. One Aquarius does not believe in God, but through many series of chain of events, I heard you're about to, Aquarius. Um, and I just want to disclaimer on here, this is not about religion. We all know this. I've been doing psychic readings on here for a long time. I've had this channel for two and a half years. This has never been about religion. I've been accused I was the devil uh, by many people over the years for doing this this has never been about religion or spiritual well it's, i'm spiritual we all know that i'm spiritual and i believe in god i do but some people are spiritual they don't you know everybody has different preferences so i don't judge is what i'm saying but that is the channel message i received is what i'm trying to say so and i don't judge people that do or don't believe in god but that is what the channeling i've heard is what i'm trying to say so i'm just disclaimering that one of you guys does not believe in God. No judgments from me, but one of you guys don't. And I'm just being serious. One of you guys don't, but I heard you're about to. You're about to believe in God. So I think there's about to be some kind of divine intervention about to occur in your life, Aquarius, to where you are about to believe in God, whether you wanted to believe in God or, or whether you, because you didn't believe in God, but something is about to occur to make you believe in God, if that makes sense, okay? I don't judge whether you believe in God or whether you don't believe in God. But a lot of people are very judgmental. But that is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Yeah. Whoa. I think it's going to be something huge. Like something huge is about to happen in your life, Aquarius, either positive or negative. That's about to make you believe in God. For somebody not to believe in God and then all of a sudden to believe in God, there's got to be something huge that's about to occur. I'm think I'm feeling like huge power moment energy, either something huge positive or huge negative, and I'm just being serious. Angel number eleven eleven is the sign of spiritual awakening. I think you're about to have a spiritual awakening to make you believe there really is a God for one of you that doesn't believe in God. Oh, and it communicates confirmation. Spiritual discovery, i.e. spiritual awakening. Um, truth and purity. Time to discover your truth. That could also be in there with the new beginnings, possibly, for some of you guys. And reminder that we're all, uh, we're all interconnected. Woo-wee, okay, so we're moving on. Frog. A low vibrational Scorpio is about to try to come crawling back. This really would not be a good idea. For one, he is a gigolo. For one, it is an older Scorpio feminine. Very low vibrational. Okay. 
Um, so it's at least two Scorpios uh, in the universe trying to come back. You have to plug these Scorpios in how they resonate. They're both low vibrational, it sounds like. They don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Sounds like you've already cut this, uh, either one of these people off, both of these people off, or what have you, what have you, Aquarius, or they have cut you off. Uh, one is a Scorpio gigolo. So that's a male prostitute for anybody who doesn't know. That's gigolo. Um, I feel you might have rendered sex services from him or you or he rendered sex services or somebody else rendered sex services from him how that resonates and applies but somehow you were connected to him and you're not anymore whether he cut you off or you cut him off whether you rendered sex services from him or whether you didn't um and for one it's an older scorpio feminine i heard uh very low vibrational so she don't treat people honestly trust respect morals ethics integrity and values you either cut her off or she cut you off. But however that resonates, one or both of these people, because you can know one of these people or both of these people, they're about to try to come back. Um, I heard it wouldn't be a smart idea. This is your low vibrational scorpionic energy. Um, I'm feeling intuitively with the card and the channel messages, I'm feeling it's like raining on them. I'm feeling they're maybe getting a beat, like a spiritual beat down, like a, I feel like, okay, if anybody's ever seen the Care Bears show, like, I was born in 1983. I'm a 39-year-old woman, so I grew up on Care Bears. Like, I had my little pony and, and Care Bear underwears at, like, five years old, and I'm just being for real, when I didn't wet the bed at night, and I'm serious. But I digress. But my point is, is I feel that they're like the Care Bear that had the black cloud over their head and it just keeps pouring rain on them. And it's like, they don't want to pep it up and be like, um, and, and, and see the positive in life and get, get out from the rain cloud. They just want to remain under the dang rain cloud and feel sorry for themselves. So they want you to, they want to suck off your energy is what I'm feeling. I didn't hear they that they were an energy succubus, but I intuitively feel that maybe they are. Um, and they don't, it's like they don't want to get themselves out um, from a bad space. They want to use you to get out from a bad space is what I feel. With the rain cloud energy, like the analogy of the Care Bear with the rain cloud over them all the time. That was Grumpy Bear, I think. Or I didn't hear anything else. Peacock. <clears throat> A very spoiled mistress. Is about to overdo things in a huge way. It's about to upset you. One is about to run your credit card up so high. <clears throat> One is about to have to turn around and sell everything. Hundreds of thousands of dollars they just spent. Oh, my God. Whoa, Aquarius. You, okay, so mistress energy strong. Um, My God. So you, okay, so it sounds like this mistress spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on of your money. Hundreds of thousands of dollars? Shit. Who are you, Aquarius? My God. Um, a Hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's your mistress, meaning you pay her. You finance her. You pay for her shit. You probably pay for her home, her looks, her surgeries if she gets them, and apparently hundreds of thousands of dollars on something. Um, but Jesus, um, one of them has, okay, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. It sounds like there's at least two mistresses in the universe, and you're very rich Aquariuses, if this resonates for you. Now, you can be a man or woman Aquarius, but you're 
Mistress, I heard mistress, not a mister. So it's a woman in both of these situations. One has ran up credit card bills um, hugely. Um, I don't know if that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, I don't know. But that's a, it's a really high freaking credit card bill, I'll tell you that. Second one, the mistress has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars recently. Heard they're about to have to return back all the shit. Um, I feel it's all your money, Aquarius, because uh, the mistress basically is financed by their lover or lovers. So I feel it's off your money. Um, I, I Maybe you're about to ask her to have to return all this shit, the hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of shit. Or maybe she just has to do it through many series of chain events in the universe. But one of them's ran up your credit card. Um, so I guess you have added her on on your credit card. Uh, I'm presuming that's not fraud, but I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But the other one has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of your money. And I heard she's about to have to um, repay it back. Now, I don't know if you're going to make her repay it back or she's just going to have to go return some shit because of tower moments. I don't know. But hundreds of thousands of dollars? Who who are you? Dear God. That's wow. For some, and they're coming in as the peacock energy. So they, this mistress whether whoever these two mistresses are because i'm picking up two in here they're very flashy they like to look good and smell good which everybody loves to look good and smell good absolutely but i think this person um does it overboard i mean i love to look good and smell good too but am i going to run up my credit card hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it because i don't have a sugar daddy nor do i want one or nor do i have a husband nor do i want one no Hell no, because I'm not dumb like that. But somebody uses you, Aquarius, whether you're a man or a woman, for your money because you get uh, they give you yum yum, i.e. sex. But they know it, so they go and they spend all your money to look good. Oh my God, Jesus, this is something. Heard this person was very flashy, so... I think they like to dress very flashy. I mean, they're coming as a peacock energy. Um, they like to dress very flashy. Uh, and I'm not downing anybody that does their nails or looks wants to look nice. Hell no. But you have to do it within your personal price range here. This person uses your money to do it. Damn. One of these people is about to get a surprise visit by the federal by a federal agent soon. They are a criminal. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. And it's not going to go well for them. One of these people is about to get a surprise visit by a federal agent soon. Uh, I heard they are a criminal and it's not going to go well for them. So one of, one of you guys' mistresses is over here, whether they ran up your credit card bill to no end or they've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of your own money over here, Aquarius. They're a criminal, and they're, I heard they're about to get visited by a federal agent soon, and I heard it's not going to go well for them. So, I'm feeling this person has the best of best of best of everything, but it's off your money. But they're a criminal, too, uh, whether you knew that or not, okay? For some, it could be an air sign, or it could be a water sign. Um, mistress, you plug it in how it resonates, or any other sign, okay? This is some shit, man. Pisces and Libra. Pisces and Libra is what I just heard. Pisces and Libra. So I'm feeling the Pisces and Libra could be your mistresses or mistress. We're picking up two mistresses in here. So I feel for some, you could have one mistress or for some, two or two plus. But I heard Pisces and Libra. So I think this is your, uh, some of you guys' mistresses. They could have Pisces or Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, um, Aquarius. This is some shit, man. An Aquarius's son, a Pisces, is about to run into a huge narcissist in a city. This person is about to rob them for everything they have. And they're very skilled at this. This is not their first victim, and they will get away. 
clean as a whistle. Oh my God. Whoa. Jesus, this is a reading Aquarius. Okay, so whoever you are, you are an Aquarius and you have a Pisces sun adult. You have a Pisces sun adult. So I'm feeling you could, you have to at least be 40 or 50 years old, if not older. But you have an adult sun Pisces. He could have Pisces in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter, Charles. This could be your Pisces. Got the rain cloud over his ass. Or about to. Heard he's about to run into a very skilled, well, she's a criminal. She's a criminal. A femme criminal. Um, I heard she's very skilled and she uh, basically um, is used to doing this. Um, your Pisces masculine is not her first victim, basically, sir or ma'am. Sir or ma'am. You can be sir or ma'am, Aquarius. Um, but however that resonates, um, it, apparently he lives in a different city from you, if this resonates for you. He lives in a different city from you. But I heard she is, I think she's coming as the peacock energy. She's obviously very attractive, is what I'm feeling. She's very attractive enough that he wanted uh, wanted to connect with her and connect with her and uh, communicate with her. And I think they probably, I think they went out on a date or they were dating. Because usually that's how most people come in and steal from folks is by um, wooing them in with like sex magic or um, dating um, and then take them for everything to have. And I'm just being for real. But he definitely lives in a different city from you, sir, or ma'am. Um, and he is a Pisces masculine. But basically, it's a fem energy. And she's very skilled at it. I heard she's going to get away clean as a whistle. She's going to steal everything from him. Um, I don't know if this is... Um, hacker! Hacker. I just heard she's a hacker. She's a hacker. Okay, so she's going to steal... Um, it sounds like money off his account or accounts or... Um, yeah. Oh my God. I, she's a hacker. So I think she's going to get in his uh, computer systems in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and she's obviously very skilled at it. Um, I heard she's going to wipe him clean. So I'm thinking a lot of money is what I'm thinking. Um, if not items in his home, if she gets in there, uh, she probably will. And I'm just being for real. Man. Or she's very good at this. She's very good at it. Um, so I'm sure she'll probably get in his house. She'll probably sleep with his ass too. And I'm just being for real. She's going to get a generational jewelry piece too. That you gave him. And many other expensive items. She's going to get a generational jewelry piece that you gave him and many other expensive items. And she's a hacker. So she's probably going to wipe his um, finances clean. Now, I don't know how the hell one does that because I'm not a hacker. Um, but yikes. I think she's coming as a peacock energy. Um, very. I think she's beautiful. I think she's beautiful. Um I heard she's a huge narcissist, bigger than he is. So I think he's a narcissist too, but she's more of a narcissist than he is. And apparently she's a skilled criminal. And I heard she's going to get away scot-free. So basically there's going to be no trace of her is what I'm feeling. Like she's going to get in, get out and move quickly. Um, so she, her ass don't get caught because she's used to doing this. Oh my good God. Whoa. This is about to create such a huge wake-up call in an Aquarius. Such a huge wake-up call. This is about to create such a huge wake-up call in an Aquarius. Such a huge wake-up call. Ah, yeah. I hope to say so. That's terrible. Flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. This could be the Pisces or Libra mistresses over here. Or... The narcissist, hacker, criminal chickadoo that's about to take your Pisces son, adult son that lives in a different city from you for everything he's got. You plug it in how it resonates. Man, this is some shit.
An older Aquarius feminine is about to get served with a divorce soon. It's about to shock the hell out of her. Oh my God. An older Aquarius fem is about to get um, a uh, served with a divorce soon. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of her. So I feel you could be 35, 36 or above Aquarius fem. Um, if that resonates for you, you're about to get um, your husband um, or wife, if that resonates for you, is about to basically um, serve you with divorce papers. Now, you know, there's contested divorces and non-contested. So whatever route y'all choose to go, um, I heard it's going to shock you, though. So I don't know how many how many assets you have, um, how much money you have. Only you know that, not anybody else. But um, you're about to get served with a divorce soon. So I don't know if you're going to go the con contested way, non-contested way, or what have you, what have you. But I think this is disappointment in your spouse here. I heard it's going to shock you. So I don't think you ever thought your um, spouse would do this to you. But they are about to do it. For one, you're going to have to end up moving in, back in with your parents. You are disabled. Oh, my Lord. For one, you're not. Okay. So, there's at least two divorces in here. So, for one, you're disabled. And for one, you're not. Um, and, of course, I'm disclaimering. I have nothing, you know, this is um, this is um, discrimination-free zone. We don't discriminate based on age, color, race, ethnicity, disability, gender identity, or um, what have you, what have you. That's just the channel message I heard, okay? I just want to make that abundantly clear, okay? Um, disclaimer alert. That's what I heard. So you, of course, you only take the messages and res that resonate with the rest. If you if you're not disabled, you're not disabled, and don't get offended, okay? But for one, you are disabled, and for one, you're not. And both of these situations, what they have in common, whether you're disabled or not, ma'ams, are um, you're about to um, get divorce papers from your spouse, whether it's a man or a woman spouse, but you are both fems. One, you're going to have to move back in with your parents, I heard, because you are disabled. So I think you need care. Um, and maybe your spouse provided that care is what I'm feeling. Or somebody else that lived in the household provided the care. Um, and for one, um, you, you're not. It doesn't sound like you're going to move back in with your parents. Um, but I think you're going to be disappointed in your spouse with the divorce. I mean, divorce. You plug it in, how it resonates. Man, ten, temporary uh, situation. Tent City. Tent City is what I just heard. Tent City. Tent City. Well, there's a tent on here, but how that resonates for one. Um, tent City. Tent City. So I don't know what that means and how that resonates for whoever. I heard Tent City. So how that resonates and applies for whoever. Tent City. So um, maybe that means something to somebody. I heard Tent City. So you plug it in how it resonates. Someone is about to shock the hell out of you. They work in corporate. Through many series of chain events, they're about to amend a situation, a wrongful termination situation of the past of a former employee. They're about to make them active in the company again. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Doing the right thing. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, uh, Aquarius. Um, so, if this resonates for you, it's somebody in corporate. Now, you might 
<clears throat> I feel you might know this person personally, or you used to know this person, or you know, or you know them now, how that resonates, but it's somebody that works in corporate somewhere in some kind of corporate entity energy. I didn't hear specifically what corporation this is. Um, only you will know this when it happens, not anybody else, but, um, and it hasn't happened yet, but it's somebody that you either currently have connections with or you used to, I'm feeling, but they work in a corporate entity and I heard they're about to make, um, con they're about to connect with somebody, um, soon through many series of chain events. And there's a former employee that was wrongfully terminated. Um, uh, and basically they're about to make it right and have this person active in the company again. So they can work in the company again. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. You're about to learn the knowledge of this uh, is what I'm feeling, that they're about to be active in the company again. Uh, because anybody that gets terminated wrongfully or not wrongfully terminated, uh, they are made inactive in the entire company, not just in the facility or site or um, workspace that terminated them, um, the entire company. So I think this person, obviously they work in, uh, in corporate. I think they're very knowledgeable about this situation, about once they're terminated, whether you're wrongfully terminated or rightfully terminated, that you're closed out in the entire company. I think they know this and that's why they're about to make it right. Now, you could be happy about this situation or you could be unhappy about it, but either way, whether you're going to be happy or unhappy about it, it's going to shock you, I'll tell you that. So you, I don't think you ever thought this would hap uh, happen. Never thought it would happen. Never thought it would happen. I heard you never thought it would happen, but I heard it is about to happen. So you plug it in how it resonates. I've got to turn my, um, I've got to turn the heat off, man. I'm burning up. Give me one second, okay? Okay, I'm so sorry about that. So, yeah. A music festival is significant soon. And guitar lessons. A music festival is significant soon and guitar lessons. So, a music festival is significant soon and guitar lessons. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Um, that could be for you or somebody you're connected to. Um, music, um, le music lessons. I'm sorry, music festival. That could be where the Ten, ten City is going to come into play, possibly for some. Because at music festivals, there is like a Tent City sometimes, especially if there's like a three day music festival. Trust me, I've been to a couple of them. They're pretty damn fun. Um, it's been a while, but just saying. But there's like little Tent Cities, like all these tents camped out for like days. Um, maybe or maybe not, but, um, music festival and guitar lessons. You plug it in how it resonates. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Sales are about to plummet in a marketing situation <clears throat> soon. Sales are about to plummet in a marketing situation soon, is what I just heard. Sales are about to plummet in a marketing situation. So I feel for some, you could work for marketing or promotions or know somebody that works in marketing or promotions, but I heard sales are about to plummet in a marketing situation soon. So um, I, obviously, yeah, well, that's self-explanatory, but you, I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. So increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Um, I feel for some, you could be a promoter or a marketer and you're not meeting your quota. Is what I feel. Um, definitely the money. <clears throat> the money's not there. The money's not up where it needs to be for the sales, for the marketing. But you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. For some, it's dating. 
Not finding people you were interested in. For some, it's dating, not finding people you're interested in. So for some of you guys, it's dating. You're not finding people you're interested in. So increase your efforts if you want to uh, um, achieve your goals. Um, maybe you need to put yourself out there. Maybe on a, well, and I'm not encouraging this. Um, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Um, I've actually had terrible experiences with dating apps. Terrible. So I'm not encouraging dating apps, but maybe one of you guys is going to get on a dating app. Um, you're having a bad time at dating. Um, you're not finding people you're interested in. And whoever you are, I feel you're very stable. So stable, grounded, independent, and reliable. And um, I think you are very well on your own. You just probably want a, a good partner, like a reliable, worthy partner, basically. One that's worth it. But I think whoever you're finding is these, like, fake-ass mistress-type folks is what I feel. And I'm just being for real. Um, or like grumpy bear energies or some shit. And I'm just being for real. Um, you're not finding quality people to date, basically. I feel you're finding a bunch of freaking hoe bags. And I hate to say it like that, but I'm just being for real. I feel you're finding a bunch of freaking hoe bags. Um, and hey, if you want to be a hoe bag, you go on your hoe bag self. I'm not judging hoe bags. Not at all that at all. But I, whoever you are, I don't feel you want a hoe bag. I feel you want a, um, not a hoe bag. And I feel that's what you're getting. Or you are either getting a hoe bag or you're getting somebody so damn boring. It's like, <sighs> and drools coming out of your damn face. I don't feel you're finding somebody compatible with you is what I'm trying to say. Let me see if I hear anything else. My God. But you have to increase your efforts to, um, to achieve your goals. So I think maybe you need to put yourself out there to more quality individuals is what I'm trying to say. So that's why I kind of brought up the dating um, site, uh, dating um, app, possibly. I'm not telling you what to do. Don't, I, I wouldn't even, I'm not advising that. I'm not, that's not even advice for me because I would never put myself on a dating app and that's just the damn truth. I've done it before and it was terrible, most fucking terrible experience of my damn life and that's just the truth. So I'm not, encouraging that but of course if you want to go on a dating app you can but my point is it'd be good to put yourself out there around people you think would be more compatible with you is what i'm trying to say if that makes sense okay like for example for me i'm not interested in dating no damn body in my damn city and that's just the truth nobody not fucking at all but it's never been my goal to date anybody down here and that's just the truth my goal has been to build my career and raise my kids and graduate them from high school. So that's never been my goal, but somebody's goal to date. So, I mean, it'd be smart to put it around, put yourself around people that are like-minded like you. A profession, I feel for some, you're very professional um, and you have a lot to offer, but I feel you're getting around hashtag ho bags. Um, and I, I, I'm just being serious. Um, how that resonates, okay? Knowledge. An Aquarius is about to find out that a water sign masculine is about to try to come back into a Leo feminine's life. She is going to shut this shit down. Know this. Shut it down. She's not interested. In fact, the police will probably get called. Okay, I heard an Aquarius is about to find out that a water sign masculine is about to try to attempt to come back into um, into a Leo Femme's life, but I heard she's not going to have it, not not have it at all. In fact, she will call, probably call the police on him because um, she's not going to have it at all. So whoever this water sign masculine is, um, you're about to learn knowledge of this. Um, he better be careful because I heard this Leo Femme will probably call the police on his ass. So unless he wants a restraining order on his ass or a protection order on his ass, if you know this person and you know he's about to try to come back into a Leo Femme's life, I'd be ring, ring, ring a ling him. That way he don't get a protection order put his on his ass. If I was you. But, of course, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. He could always get the protection order or the restraining order on the, um, if he tries to attempt to come on somebody's property. I mean, he can try it if he wants to. Um, anybody tries to come 
my ass from the past, they can add a fucking protection order put on them. That's just the damn truth. But, I mean, whoever this Leo Femme is to this water sign masculine is what I'm trying to say. He could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hand, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates for him. Um, it is a Leo Feminine. She could have Leo and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hand, or Jupiter charts. But I heard you're about to learn about it. So, I think he's either going to tell you or somebody connected to him is going to tell you. Um, the knowledge that he's going to try to come back, or he did come back, attempt to come back into her life. But if he did come back into her life, he probably will be carrying a freaking protection order or restraining order, or maybe he'll be calling you to try to bond out of bail. Uh, bond out of bail. Bond out of jail. And I'm just being for real, but you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Spirit, Mr. Did you have a question? A subordinate of an Aquarius. For some, it's your receptionist. For some, it is a subordinate of yours in a corporate conglomerate. You're about to find out they're about to steal from you. One, you're going to catch them red-handed. Out of your purse. Oh my God. Whoa. That's energy. Um, we have despair on the bottom of the deck. It's going to make you very upset. Uh, yeah. Jeez, that's terrible. For one, it's your receptionist, I heard. For one, it is a subordinate. So, uh, employee uh, underneath your rank in your corporate conglomerate. Um, and for one, you're either a female or you're a male that likes purses. I'll tell you that. Um, because for one of you guys, it's out of your purse, whether you're a male that likes purses or you're a female that has a purse, but, and whether it's for your receptionist about to do this or, um, um, uh, a subordinate underneath you in the corporate conglomerate, but I heard they're about to steal from your purse for one of you guys, for one, they're about to steal in some other kind of way. I feel it is money, um, financial here, um, despair. You're about to be in despair. Heard for one, you're about to catch them red handed. So the other one, you guys, whether it's your purse or something else, um, you're not going to catch them red handed. Maybe you catch them on a camera. Maybe you catch them on a hidden camera. Maybe you catch them on um, a security camera. Maybe you catch them, uh, somebody else catches them. But for one, you are going to catch them red handed, I heard, and they're going to be stealing out of your purse. So I feel for some, you are fems or your man that likes purses and it's about to um leave you in despair here number 32 could be very significant number of one's life number 32 i mean despair yeah I, I would say so because you're about to get knowledge of the theft and this is workplace theft here this is workplace theft like damn An Aquarius is about to experience phone call after 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 phone call. Where's the fucking money? Oh my God. An Aquarius is about to experience phone call after phone call. Well, that could be despair too. Um, phone call, basically a crap ton of phone calls uh, after phone call. Where's the fucking money? And I, I didn't hear fucking. Where's the fucking money? Despair. You're going to be in despair. Maybe one of you guys is in severe debt. But for one, your freaking mistresses are, are spending it all. And they have no qualms doing it. They like their hair did. They like their nails did. They like to wear Gucci. Um, damn. Just saying, just saying. Uh, one of them is going to be so bad. And that might be why they're about to have to take all that shit back. Hundreds of thousand dollars worth of shit back. Because you're about to get phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call. Where's the fucking money? So it might be why your little haughty little... Mistress over here that likes to spend all your hundreds of thousands of, I mean, hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of G's over here with no qualms, gonna have to probably return the shit. But I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else, man. This is some shit.
Okay, I feel like I need to pull one more. A pregnancy of a water sign is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. For one, you're about to learn the sex of the child. For one, you're about to find out they're pregnant. Um, okay, um, so two pregnancies in here, water sign, um, water sign, uh, fem energy, um, uh, if this resonates for you, um, for one of them, I heard, um, you're about to find out the, um, sex of the child, uh, so it sounds like she's been pregnant a while, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, she, you're about to find out the sex of the child, and for one, you're about to find out she's pregnant. So you plug it in how it resonates. Great fortune upright. Number 26 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 26, great fortune. The keys to the streets is about to give someone huge fortune huge the keys to the streets is about to give someone huge fortune huge is what i just heard so this could be you it's about to give huge fortune to aquarius if you've got the keys to the streets or it could be somebody else that's got the keys to the streets and it's about to give them huge great fortune you plug it in how it resonates aquarius but somebody's got the keys to the streets whether it's you aquarius or somebody else and it's about to give them great fortune, whether it's you or somebody else. Keys to the streets, baby. Just saying, just saying. And it's about to happen very, very, very quickly. And it's about to happen very, very, very quickly. And it's about to happen very, very, very quickly. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. All right. Well, I love you guys. Everybody have a good, uh, wonderful night and namaste.